everybody, welcome back to Children's Church. Can you believe it's the last Sunday in August? This month has really flown by. It has. I'm going to light our candle to remind us that God is always with us. And by God, I do mean God the Creator, God the Son, and God the Holy Spirit. All of them always with us all the time. Since it's the end of the month, we've had a lot of practice with our verse, from Romans. Remember if that's in the Old Testament or the New? It's new. It is. Let's do it together in one voice. Uh -huh. <laughs> Let, Let us be one voice. Let us be one voice. Let us be one voice. Now we're going to enter into our moment of silent prayer. We'll let you pause the video at home. Amen. Thanks for spending time in prayer with us today. All right, one more Sunday about affirmations of faith. We've talked about the Apostles' Creed, but there's a lot of affirmations. How are we going to do them all in one day? I don't know. Let's just do all the rest today. I'll read them super fast. Y'all have like a few hours. I'll need to use a computer too because there are so many that aren't even in the hymnal. That's true. Yeah. Mm -hmm. I wonder what else we could do instead. Well... I don't know why even there are so many affirmations of faith because I kind of just know what I believe in way shorter than pages and pages. I think that's how there came to be so many affirmations is people just kind of always kept putting their own spin on it or changing one little part and making it a whole new affirmation, even though a lot of them say the same thing. So people just kept making up their own ones. Hey! What a great idea! Let's make up our own Children's Church Affirmation of Faith. Some of you might remember doing this last year, and we just said, what's the most important thing you believe? And that's one way to start writing an Affirmation of Faith. Just think, what's the most important thing I believe? Okay, what else is important? What else is important? And write those things down. But since we're not all here together, and I don't know exactly what you believe, I try to think of things that we have in common that we believe. And I wrote them all down and put them in some baskets so that we can make a surprise affirmation of faith. I love surprises. Have you ever played Mad Libs? Yes. It's kind of like that where like some words are written, but then there are blanks. All right. So the first words are, I believe in. And then I'm going to take my basket of all the things I believe in that I think you believe in too. Tell me if I'm wrong though. And I'll pick one. This one look good? Sure. The Trinity. Ooh. Do you I believe do. in the Trinity? Sounds good to me. All right. I believe in the Trinity. The next part of our little Mad Lib affirmation of faith says, and that. Hmm. What else? I believe in the Trinity and that God created everything. Oh, yep. I believe that. Okay. Let's do just one more. I have a lot of choices we could go on all day. And I hope you do at home. <laughs> If you want me to send you my choices, I can. Just let me know. All right. Next thing. I believe in Jesus. Yep. Check. And that. Here's my and that basket. God created me. Oh. Two creation ones. That works. Because there's no wrong way to make your own affirmation of faith. Sometimes there might be two creation things. Sometimes it might be all different kinds of things about all different parts of your life. Maybe there are things you believe about school or your friends or your family. All of those are important and all of those are part of your faith. You can even work together as a family and jot some things down that everyone believes and put them in a basket and play our little Mad Lib affirmation game. I hope you will. We'll see you next month. And remember, you're a beloved child of God the Creator, God the Son, and God the Holy Spirit. Bye.